We're could... back, and shockingly enough, Matt is here. I can't believe it. I can't believe now it's been nearly like a whole week, like a, a week yeah. and a day. And last time I was well, here, I was I was having appendicitis recording. It was bursting it. in your stomach uh-huh. at the time. Wow! If you guys didn't watch our last episode, I I, I did the damn thing. I sat there um, while my appendix was on the verge of rupturing. And think, first off, I need to say thank you so much for you two. I'm so grateful and thankful that you're in my well, life. <laughs> <laughs> and that you encouraged me to go to the hospital You're because I don't know if I'd be here today wow. if it wasn't for you two. Oh. So after we recorded you owe your lives to us, our, <laughs> your life I, I, I to truly us. do. Did you yeah. wear our Prada bags? <laughs> <laughs> um, so after we recorded, I was having like uh, yeah pain in my appendix. It was hurting. Um, throughout our last episode and then after we went over to Aaron's house and we uh, did a little Emmy's fashion review and during that whole time I was still feeling the pain but I was still trying to convince myself it was nothing it was gas luckily Aaron and Carly um, <laughs> c- uh, encouraged me and more advocated for me they were like, to go. go we went to an urgent care they turned me away and th- then they were like let's go to the hospital and I was like y'all want to go to the hospital <laughs> for me and they're like oh yeah we're going <laughs> We need to rule this out that it's uh, yeah. at least was an appendicitis. And but it was. We, and it was. <laughs> yeah. And then also, Mike, I want to say thank you to you for uh, you also came and you stayed in the hospital with me for probably, what, seven hours? Something like Damn. that. Yeah. That was a it was a long day. But then, yeah. So basically, Carly and Aaron took Matt to the hospital, dropped them Drag off at the ass. ER. And I, well, I we was were there. <laughs> they were, I'm saying you guys took him there yeah, and were yeah. there. And I, it was like now like four in the afternoon. We had recorded like at, we got back at noon and it was like four in the afternoon or something. And I just like checked Max location because I wanted to call him for something. And I saw it said like, you know, Kaiser <laughs> Permanente hospital. hospital. And then I texted you and you were like, yep. And then I was like, okay. And then I texted you and I was like, uh-huh. hey, what's going on over there? And then we talked on the phone and she was like, yeah, we kind of have to go. But like, maybe you should come because like, I don't know. And it seemed very like relaxed at the time. Like yeah. you were just waiting. So I was like, whatever, I'll go wait with Matt for an hour, get the scan and then we'll go home. So I get there and we're in the waiting room still. And then after like an hour, they called Matt and then we go and they put you in like a bed. And then they wheeled you in to a hallway because there was no rooms available. And that's the worst is when you're like a hallway patient. No, <laughs> like you, the worst. So wait, you were in the hallway in for the how bed. long? Probably like four hours. Four hours. Four or five and hours. Like in, a busy, get, in a busy hallway? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Luckily, nothing like crazy came through. There was one woman who was giving birth <gasps> in like a whole other section oh of the hospital. God. And then I swear there was a kid on the verge of dying. Yeah, there was oh. just screaming for... At like a whole hour oh, straight to the point where like multiple doctors were coming in and looking at this kid and Mike and I just because when you're in a room you don't know what everyone else is doing yeah. when you're in the hallway oh you see what is yeah. the most urgent room out there yeah so the drama of and it it's all. like also right next to the like the receptionist desk too so you hear like can we get a nurse down to this station, this oh station? God, yeah. and they're like, code blue in this room. And oh Mike God. and I are Googling like <laughs> what, what the code, code blue is. Yeah, yeah. So we're like, oh, gosh, someone's in cardiac arrest right now. It's almost oh like better, more entertainment for you as opposed to a room. It, yeah. Yes, in a, in, in a way. And Matt, just, was, Matt but, was in good spirits. You were knitting for a little bit. We're um, cracking jokes, but still like kind of hurt. <laughs> Mike, though, but Mike, you were still very like, this is just gas. Yeah, and this I is, really, I was... For sure, like this is they're gonna <laughs> they're gonna do a scan and it's gonna be like go home, you're fine, just take it. Like I was f- convinced there was not not that there was nothing wrong, but like there's just no way that we Matt's life would ago. turn out. Yeah, be yeah. like oh this is actually appendicitis. Like before he's supposed to travel, like there's no way. And then I started getting like kind of confident towards the end upon diagnosis that you know what maybe it is all in my head because i started having an appetite had a little chip or two and i'm like (laughs) and i'm like you know what let's let's just get this done with and told that it's nothing and go home and move on and then the doctor finally came and he goes you're matt and he's like uh it's looking like it's yeah it's appendicitis and mike and i just looked at each other in that (laughs) moment we're like so we're getting a surgery tonight. I was right like, now? forgive me if this is a dumb question, but are you telling me right now that Matt needs to get his appendix removed tonight? And he goes, that's what I'm telling you. Um, and we were just like, "There's, it's just insane. I mean, I think, what did you text? You text us at like nine and you were like, it's appendicitis. It's likely appendicitis. He has to get surgery tonight. 
probably. Yeah. And I was just like, you're fucking with us. Ha ha. <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah. Um, But you were not. Nope. And then I remember also at that point, he was still in the fucking hallway getting yeah. that information. And I was just like, <laughs> I can't even believe. Like, I couldn't imagine. Like, just like the stuff you had coming up. I was like, oh, my God. Like, I would be devastated. Yeah. Like, he's probably sitting there crying, like getting this news in front of all these people. But Mike was like, he's fine. <laughs> oh, well, And that's what was kind of strange about it. Because, yeah, I had a lot of big plans. I had a really big weekend ahead of me. And... But because I was in like so much pain and how serious of an issue it was, it really like topped everything else that was underneath it where I'm like, I need to get this thing out of me. I, I, and I, also, feel like, I also feel like you were probably a little like, ha ha, told you so. Uh, there to was, all the haters. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like there was a, like, oh, like, so knitting. much of like, yeah, Patri <laughs> even Patricia, she was just wanting to blow it off like it was gas. Yeah. She was even like making fun of me and because there was a group chat with all of her friends and I told them that I couldn't go I had to leave the Emmys because like my stomach was hurting and all of them were giving me a hard time and stuff and I'm like but I think it's appendicitis and they're like okay whatever yeah. and then in the morning Matt left the Emmys because he has a tummy ache boo yeah. Ooh, Patricia was driving me to here uh, last week uh, someone checked in and go Matt how are you wait never mind I saw the snap and I go look, I look at Patricia and I go <laughs> what, what snap? snap and she goes Oh, I Snapchatted like a picture of you and I said like you were being over dramatic and that's probably just <laughs> oh gas. And I go, that's not funny. I'm oh still in pain, God. babe. Did she feel and so bad? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, and then no. also she, Patricia, was at the premiere of Don't Worry Darling like like an <laughs> hour away while we were in the hospital. And I was telling her like, you don't need to come here. Like, this is not going to be a big deal. Like, I, I, we, because what we, what you do mostly in the hospital is just wait. Yeah. So we waited first for like someone to check us in, then someone to take your blood work, then another hour for someone to do the scan, then another hour for the result. And I'm not going to like tell Patricia to like leave this really cool event that she's at because I'm there. Matt's fine, whatever. Mm -hmm. And then at like 9 30, they came and they're like, yeah, you need surgery tonight. And I was like, Patricia, you need to get here right now. I'm like, Actually, and she was like, I'm an hour away. You told me it was going to be fine. And I was like, I know, but it's not. And that's getting surgery tonight. But I know tonight. we all doubted him. I was like, I need to see you before I go on. Like, <laughs> yeah. I, I needed to like have yeah. my like, final moment because you never know. What's huh. also so weird about getting surgery it's crazy when you're an adult and you're getting surgery versus when you were like a kid. I don't know if you've had surgery, yeah. but they just make it seem like it's not going to be a problem. You're going to go to sleep and you're wake up. It's as an adult. They're like, this is what you're agreeing to like, today. You got like going, just in case. Die. Yeah, here are the complications. We could do it laparoscopically. If that doesn't work, we're going to need to use the big knife. And then when we close it up, there might be an issue with the staples. Like oh my God. You might die. Sign this. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to know. I know. Just do it. Just do yeah. it and I won't sue you or yeah. nobody will sue you. Just like, don't let me know. Um, but it all went well. And uh, I've been recovering like pretty, pretty well. It's just like annoying how long it will be to like, Till I can like work out, which is like four yeah. more. I do want to give also wow. props to Patricia because she ended up coming at like 1030 at night and then you didn't get your surgery until 3 a.m. And she was texting me at like five in the morning, like still haven't slept. And like she was she pulled like a, She pulled like a, a total 24 hours of staying awake. Like st like was texting me updates. I was already asleep, but she was like, all right, match surgery is scheduled for 3 a.m. He's going in for surgery. And then like an hour later at 440. OK, he's out of surgery. And then at 6 a.m. we're going. And I woke up at like 5 a.m. in a cold sweat and was like texting with her. So because I got home at dang. seven, she had been up since seven in the morning that day. Yeah. So she was up for 24 hours. So it was a team effort. But you're alive. I am. We're here. When they said that it was an appendicitis, were you like freaking out that you needed it out or were you just like, yes. it'll happen? Oh, no, that was like the worst feeling is then once being told and then also saying, so now wait a couple more hours. You're like, no, get it out of yeah. me. Get it out. He was like, yeah. he was just like, it. I felt like so it was gross having it inside of me now. <laughs> just I just knowing. want it out. Yeah. It's I crazy. Panicking and be like, what if it burst? I know. I'm like, how do they not know if it's. <laughs> They I mean, said it was pretty early on, right? Oh, I guess yes. you could tell with the scan. There was so. the, yeah, the, when the surgeon came over, and she was like explaining it, and she goes, so basically, uh, yours is just a little bit bigger at the tip. And I was like, hell yeah, oh. brother. <laughs> and that got that so upset that I like made that joke. She laughed. The doctor laughed. She, she did like, laugh. Like, you know, and it's like she was about to even like start laughing more. Yeah. Like, I, but I looked at you and I went, stop. Yeah. Stop. She, well, hurt, dude, she goes, yeah, she it's, it's, really uh, it's a little at bit the... bigger at the tip. And I'm just like, hell yeah, brother. Oh, my God. And then there was also like a, a it was a teaching hospital. So there was a student there that was like observing and 
Like Matt, you can say what oh, you said. Oh, so yeah, it was like the three of them. They were kind of like the I don't know, like the Grey's Anatomy like team <laughs> oh, coming yeah, by. The and she yeah, she introduced. She goes, "This one is also our 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 medical student." And then I go, she goes, "Do you have any questions?" And I look at the student. I go, "Do you have any questions?" Because I want this to be a learning experience. <laughs> <laughs> and the kid was, and he was like, like, he was like, oh, like yeah. no, like, so Maybe offended. That is such a mad thing to ask. Yeah, know, and then when I was like entering the surgery room, you know, it's like probably like ten people in there. Oh my God. Yeah. I was like, hey, team, how are yeah. we doing? <laughs> like, how did the la- Someone had an appendectomy right before me. Oh, my God. Which was wild because even when I found out it was appendicitis, I asked also, is anyone else having appendicitis like right now? And they go, looks like you're the only one today. But what? someone got it like before me who must have been more urgent. Um, and I was like, right when I was like going under, I was like, did you see Harry Potter and the Cursed Child? Because one of the nurses had like a lanyard. She goes, yeah, I, I did. Like, like the abridged version or the extended one? Did you go to London or San Francisco? They put the mask on. Hey, buddy, stop yeah, talking. Yeah, yeah. Just, like, shut the fuck up. And count backwards from 10. <laughs> um, all right. Well, but you did it. Congrats. I'm, uh, yeah. And now you never have to worry about it again. Yeah. Uh, this pretty is much. A, a dream come true now. I still feel like there's like a missing space in my it's like, like a organs. It's weird. <laughs> Someone in the Phantom comments limb. of the last episode, or maybe it was on Unfiltered, <laughs> they organs. said when I got mine removed, I could still feel like it missing and like my organs in it feeling differently. And mine do feel differently. Not to the point of like nausea or... Like feel crazy about it? Yeah, it's just... It still feels weird, mm. which is just weird. Well, if you guys go back and watch our health episode, we talk literally Matt talks about his fear of getting an appendicitis. What are the odds? This is maybe the manifestation I mean, chair right here. Yeah. So only, I mean, we talked about it for some... like 10 minutes or something. So it's and you, pretty cool. I mean, what? not cool, but crazy. It's just crazy how much you were also like, what are the odds There's of that no happening? Way. I know. It just doesn't seem like something that would happen. <laughs> and then a month later. Yeah. All of this just to prove Mike wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you induced it. I'll, yeah. I'll take well, the L. Let's just hop into it. Sure. What's good, everybody? Welcome back to Good Influences. I am Matt King, and I'm joined with Carly and Contro, Mike Sheffer, and Aaron Gilfoy. And today, our topic for Good Influences is about celebrities, celebrity culture, um, the, the people that we love and idolize and worship. Or hate. Or hate on every screen that we consume, <laughs> that we've known throughout time. And we're going to talk about, I, I guess... And we live in L.A. We have all these crazy interactions and stories and experiences with celebrities. And we just want to really break that idea down. Are they just like us? (laughs) Are there ones that we're concerned about? Um, Are there ones that we've met that we need to um, air out some dirty laundry and uh, tell people? I don't know. To unstand them. <laughs> to unstand them. Um, I don't know. We're just going to like serve it up. So I guess my first question, who? what was the first celebrity you ever saw with your own eyes? Like, like met or just saw Adam in Salem. the wild? We can say saw and then met. Excluding like musicians, assuming. Like uh, well, I saw, I saw the 18s one time. <gasps> like, <laughs> like no, we're talking about, about celebrities. <laughs> <laughs> okay. no, it was cr- when I was a kid, I was at the all, remember all that had like a music oh, tour? show tour kind yes. of thing. And I walked in to the music like tour thing um, in the state fair park at Texas and 18s were doing signing autographs and just seeing them right there in oh person God. just oh, wow. shook me up as a child. Shook wow. me up. I have a, not similar, but Mitchell Musso, who was on Hannah Montana. I remember, so in Omaha, they have the College World Series, and he was doing some sort of like concert in the parking lot before, (laughs) but I wasn't there to see the concert. I forget what we were doing, but I think my friend and I realized he was there, and we got there, and I was like... 19 years old and it, there was literally <laughs> children surrounding him it was like he was almost in this like a little fenced in area and there's like a group of like te- like teens and like yeah. really young people and i was like the oldest one and i was like oh my god and he, he ended up signing my cheek like i have a whole i have a what picture of it and that was the first time yeah. you ever saw a celebrity with your own eyes i am well yeah, I was in Nebraska. yeah i think so i mean in the wild, yeah, because I'd never been to LA. I mean, I was only yeah, like, it's Omaha. Yeah, yeah true. I guess like <laughs> no Bruce Springsteen is not walking around. Well, that was pre Jack and Jack. Wow, I don't, actually don't know if it was. Well, I did meet Matt Tyson too from Reliant K, but oh. I don't remember which one I met first. So really s- stretching the word celebrity there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, to me, he is a celebrity. Yeah, yeah. wow. Yeah. 
I was 13 years old. Oh my god! At the community pool in Twin Rivers, New Jersey. <laughs> okay. And this is you know before internet, whatever. And some mom came to the pool. They're like, "Did you hear they're shooting the new Adam Sandler movie and this parking lot like 10 minutes grown-ups? away?" No, no, oh. it was anger management. Oh, I wanted to Whoa. guess. I could. Okay, okay. Um, and we and it was me and my four brothers. So like Johnny was I don't know six years old, and Mr. Deeds had just come out. So we had just seen Mr. Right. Deeds, and oh. my mom was like, I was like, we have to go. And so we all hopped in the minivan and just like drove <laughs> around the town because we didn't know exactly where it was, and <laughs> found this like parking lot with a bunch of movie trailers, like the huge eighteen wheeler buses, and like all of these like. You know, it looked like a big production and nothing like that ever existed in our small town. And so we just like pulled over and kind of just like waited in this field across from the from the uh, all the buses. And we waited for like an hour and like bless my mom, just like waiting there with her four kids in the middle of a summer day. And we were like, not sure if this was they were actually filming. It was just some mom said it in the neighborhood, whatever. And then over time, like a few more people came and they joined us in the little pile, like the little area. And then at like whatever, an hour later, we just saw Adam Sandler move from one trailer to another. And we were just like, oh, my God, (laughs) he's here. And then uh, someone like they we were like, oh, my God, uh, whatever. And then someone from the production came over and they're like, hey, guys, how you doing? Uh, Super nice. They're like, "Uh, we're just coming to film a couple scenes. You guys want to meet Adam and Jack Nicholson? We were like. Oh my yeah. god! Yeah, and they're like, all right, just Jack like Nicholson. hang tight. You bet we'll, Jack Nicholson. He, he, they were like, we'll come back in a few minutes, and like, well, when we finish up the scene, we'll come over. And then, like, fifteen minutes later, Adam Sandler and Jack Nicholson just cross. <gasps> they like look both ways, cross the highway, come on over, and it's like I don't know, twelve of us, and I didn't know who Jack Nicholson was. Didn't care. My mom was like, <laughs> oh my god, Mister Nicholson, like, how you doing? And I was just like, pleasure to meet you. Hey, Adam Sandler, how you doing? He was like, what's up, man? How you doing? And he like Aww. shook all my brother's hands and like. Aww. Whoa! What my, crazy my brother thing. Johnny did like a Mr. Deeds impression of John Turturro's character who like yeah. likes feet. Uh-huh. He was like, I like feet. I don't know why. And Adam Sandler like cracked up and my youngest brother was like, hey, 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 that's pretty good. And, <laughs> wow. and then um, I was like, hey, hey, can I tell you a secret? He's like, yeah, yeah, buddy, what's up? And I was like, it's my brother's bar mitzvah next month. Do you think he can make it and maybe sing the Hanukkah song? He's like, I don't know, buddy, maybe. We'll see. I got, I got a busy schedule. And I was like, all right, cool. And then I gave him like the yarmulke from my bar mitzvah that says like Aww. my name on it and then they like left and like signed autographs whatever and i had his autograph until like a year ago i lost it when i moved um and then as they were leaving he was like study that half torah i'm gonna be listening for you and we were like all right no see you later. way yep, oh yep. he seems so nice he was the nicest like celebrity it was him. the greatest day of my life and then like a month later he had like a website where he would put um like home videos on this is like pre-youtube and he uploaded like whatever uh, you know a holiday video and my yamaka was on Shut up. one of his Mike, dogs this no, is all that, true that, hey, no dogs? you added this part in this is this part isn't true <laughs> what are you talking about no this part is true i could probably true. find the no, video Mike? what yeah, I, I think this is like your lady you. gaga story which we'll get to and we'll <laughs> break it down mike has this whole lady gaga story i know i'm doing this like bust your balls yeah. no this is all you can ask no, all my family that, okay, members all the, the story was going great Wait, i love that he kept your Yarmulke. I thought I you know. were going to hand him your yamaka for him that to never sign. Happened. No, no, what? no. Mike's making that part off. <laughs> I swear I'm not, dude. <laughs> sure, sure. It was on his dog Matzo Ball. That was the name of his dog. He had a dog named Ma- Meat- Meatball and Matzo Ball. And I think both of them have died since then. It was like 2003. Oh, but uh, there was <laughs> and a the video. Is just it was on. It was like in a clip of the video. Like his dog had the yamaka from my bar mitzvah on his head. <laughs> Man. That, okay, I know, I know. The Why thing is, is that it was the like, hardest part I to believe? Loved, I loved the whole story, and then right when it went up to that detail, I was like, I was like, that didn't happen. Oh my anyway, God. Adam what? Sandler, legend, nicest guy in the world. I met Jack Nicholson. I had no idea who he was. I shook his hand. He goes, "Hey, nice to meet you, son," or whatever. Uh, and I was like, "All right, buddy." And I just didn't know anything about him. But um, that's crazy. You met him. I know. Yeah. And I, I do remember there was like one mom there with her son. And she was a lunatic. My son is an actor. You have oh to bring god. him in one of your movies. Oh my oh god! Oh my god! You have to meet my son. Oh. And I just remember being like, "God, don't do that!" <laughs> like I was like thirteen, and even I was like, "Don't, don't scream at a celebrity." Like anyway, wow. so Adam Sandler was my no, first that's celebrity. Really, 
Well, now I need to hear the Lady Gaga. I'm going to find. We'll get there. We'll but get I there. I don't Aaron, Aaron, yeah. Let's get to Aaron. The first Who was celebrity. the first celebrity you ever saw? Well, you know, being from Boston, I was just in a Dunkin' Donuts one day, and good old Ben Affleck was. What? <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I was like, that's not a cliche. <laughs> that's pretty believable. No, uh, no, definitely not. That'd but the thing so is, funny. I don't, like, aside from, like, concerts and then probably just at, like, sporting events where, like, they put celebrities on the Jumbotron, like, I don't have a clear memory of a time before living here mm-hmm. seeing a celebrity. But I will say when I moved here, like right off the bat, I started seeing celebrities, but in like not crazy places. Like I saw Kevin from the office at Sushi Stop. And I remember I was Sushi freaking Stop. out. He was like the first celebrity I saw when I moved to LA. And Joe was just did just, a mukbang with him. I know. He was just sitting there waiting for his takeout order, like wearing a Red Sox hat, like in the Franklin scrub- Village sushi yes. stop. Oh, there's always celebrities up and down that strip. Yeah, you can just sit there forever. But like, like we I met there, Justin Long like, there one time. Two dollars. The sushi is, $2. <laughs> the yeah. sushi is we, really good and so cheap. Yeah, Where and is so this? we would go there all the um, time. It's Franklin Village, but there's also right one in, in um, Studio City, in La Pubella. Oh, yeah. I could use some cheap sushi. It's really I think good. The prices went up a little bit since we moved. Here. Yeah, I feel like it was like two dollars. It was two dollars. Dude, something. Ralph's sushi's pretty cheap. Well, it's Ralph's. Wait, I'm talking about Ralph's sushi. Let's focus on the celebrity. And then, like, probably. Uh, I don't remember when that was, but then my second person I ever saw was Gabe from The Office, and it was after we went to like oh. a haunted hayride, and then I went to a haunted hayride. Hayride. Hay rack ride. <laughs> And we were, it was probably like after midnight, and we were eating at Fred 62, which is like a 24-hour diner, and literally just sitting there eating like pretty drunk, and then all of a sudden, like Gabe, who was a giant yeah, man. he's really tall, right? So tall, like walks by, was definitely on a date with someone, and I was just like, this is fucking crazy. Like, why am I only <laughs> seeing members of The Office? Wow. But then, those are the only two I've seen Did you interact, then. or was it just a sighting? No, I was, I was probably putting like a waffle in my mouth, like... <laughs> like, what? Was that the first date? Yeah, that was mine and TJ's first date. Wow. Whoa. And he was a, like a bigger office fan that like literally the classic like watches it before bed kind of guy. And so I was like, oh my God, it's Gabe from The Office. And then he was like, you watch The Office? And then we were like, wow. it is It is pretty <laughs> wild uh, spotting, I guess, celebrities out in LA. You want to have to have like an eye for it because some people never see it coming like yeah. patricia is never like looking like when i walk into a restaurant i look at every person in there just as like a scan to just see who's there but like some people will just go about their day and not notice them they're they're almost like pokemon and like the yeah the, the, the brush you gotta i am the we, same as you yeah and i love hearing people like saying their spottings of celebs oh, and like where they I saw Viola them. Davis in the Ralph's <gasps> parking lot what? over by uh, Mike's place. She does her own I, Ralph's shopping? Yeah, dude, I, pu- I pulled up in I pulled up in a parking spot and I look <gasps> over and she's on a phone and she's just yelling into the phone. <laughs> like, no. like going off on somebody and oh. I was just like, "Oh my gosh." Queen shit, I love her. Oh yeah, oh, that God, was I like a rare one. And then do you remember that one time you uh, in Zane, I think we're in a car and George Clooney was next to you guys. George Clooney? That was me and you. Oh, it was me? right oh. on Vineland and Ventura. You, wasn't she Carly's in like, the car with Zane? <laughs> uh, no, I thought it was like Zane and Heath. Oh, maybe. Yeah. Or maybe it was Zane and like his old assistant. I was just thinking about this we yesterday. We were walking, Mike and I were walking um, across the street right by that Ralph's. Um, and we saw Zane on the crosswalk and I'm like messing with him at the car and Zane's like, look over, look over. <laughs> and, I, and I look over and it's just George Clooney and a Tesla just on his phone. Wow. Oh my God. Have I was you, like right there. Have you ever seen um, Jay Leno? I was just going to bring uh, it up. Yes, I think like once, but like Jay Leno to me isn't like. No, it's just like funny because everyone, their spotting of him is like him in a funky car. Well, every that's time. what he does. Yeah. yeah. He, it's also easier to spot someone when they're driving a 1942 it's fire so truck funny. down the street. Yeah. Like, yeah. No, literally. <laughs> what is that? The I think I've cars. seen him like three to four Same. times. Just like. He also goes to he's like. The new Angelina. There's this like. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it! Shut the fuck up. <laughs> uh, um, you, you know who I, I've seen twice uh, around LA is Bill Nye, the science guy. What? Oh yeah, saw him at Granville one time on a date in Studio City with a girl who was pretty hot. I gotta say. <laughs> and they were like touchy like feely. Daughter. I was like, Bill Nye <laughs> yeah. is getting laid tonight. <laughs> and then, was he wearing the bow tie? 
No. Surprisingly, oh. no. Is he handsome? He no. has like this kind of weird, like, I almost think... like vampire kind of eye. Like, his, so, like, his yes. eyebrows, I swear, like, yes. curl, his eyebrows, like, <laughs> curl up. And I feel like he's had a little bit of, like, Botox Billy or like, a sure. facelift. But he looks fine. And then I was driving one time. Patricia oh. and I, we were kind of, like, caravanning, like, back to her place. And it was, like, kind of, like, peak during, like, um, pandemic and stuff. And so a lot of people were, like, on walks. And Bill Nye oh, yeah. was just, like, on a walk. And I'm, like, oh. I go, look to your left when you get up at the top of the hill. And sure enough, she was, like, wow. You also oh. almost crashed your car into Ryan Gosling one time. <gasps> yes. Oh, my God. That's a good one. Oh, no. Um, the, you know where, like, Zane's old house was? There was that really tight turn. I know exactly turn what you're talking about. That, there's yes. a tight turn up in the yes. hills where really only one car. Like Wrightwood? Uh, the oh, Lori oh, house. Oh, the first one. Yeah, yeah there's that really weird. tight turn where only one car can go, and it when you pull like up to off. it, you have to wait to make sure. Yeah. So I was pulling up really slow, and I saw a Range Rover coming down, and I like stop, and this Range Rover, I let him pass, and the windows are down, and it's just Ryan Gosling, and he just gives me like a wave, and just was like, "Thanks, man," and kept going, and I was like, Damn. "Whoa!" Like it's crazy the celebs you see when you're just driving. Yeah, like I saw yeah. Sarah Highland once. Oh yeah, they're There's so everywhere. Many good spottings in LA. I, there I was fucking love it here. I was living in New York right after dr- the movie Drive that Ryan Gosling's thing came mm-hmm. out, and it was like. New Year's Eve, I was with my friend Mark and we were, I was fucking obliterated because it was New Year's <laughs> Eve and it was like probably four in the morning at this point. We were like walking home and I was just like, dude, this movie drive, this guy, Ryan Gosling, I'd never seen any of his movies. I was like, I think this guy's like a sick actor or whatever. And Mark goes, well, there he is. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, wait, what are you talking about? He's Ryan Gosling is right there. I was like, no, no, no. I'm telling this guy is in the movie drive. He's like, no, I'm telling you the actor Ryan Gosling is right there. And I was like, oh my God, and I, like a psychopath. I ran, <laughs> oh, jumped God. in front of him and I was like. Oh my God, dude, I just saw Drive. You're an incredible no. actor. I love your work. I truly think you're going to be one of the greatest actors of our generation. Like, I'm sorry I'm jumping in front of you. I hope you have a happy new year. It's like, hey man, thanks. He had already done the notebook, dude. I had like, seen the notebook. I know. I know. He was like, I never... he was like pretty peak. I'd be, oh, I would have me- like melted if you did that. <laughs> I did not. I would have been like, my. He was with like this girl who I thought was like a fan. He was just like, whatever. <laughs> like a, It was. It was yeah, Eva no. And I and I was just like, Miss, I don't know if you know who this guy is, but he's like one of the greatest oh actors of our God. generation. And I was just oh like, and I was just like, dude, you're awesome. And he goes, you know what, man? You're awesome. Happy no. New Year. And no. I was like, thanks. And then I left and Mark was like, that was cool. I was like, yeah, but that was pretty cool. <laughs> I'm feeling an idiot now because I was just like definitely a drunk maniac. So now I really, yeah, believe you about the what? Kylie Jenner time with Kylie Jenner. Oh, oh, we, oh. everyone's heard this a million times. Oh, really? Yeah. Mike told Kylie Jenner to her face, I'm sorry, who are you? <laughs> <laughs> That's a kind That's of humbling. Iconic. Yeah, I like it's humbling. I kind of like it. I yeah. Couldn't, yeah. Okay. So but, I believe it. But Ryan Gosling is, I will say also, just nice guy to have for, for having some like random 22 year old kid jump in front of him on New Year's. But he was super nice. And I remember that. I was like, dude, you're awesome. Were he you goes, drunk? Hammered. Oh, okay. That's fine yeah. then. If yeah. you were sober, I'd be like, no, no, no. I'm <laughs> chill if I'm, I, I just like, I thought this like drive was this new indie movie like that had just come out. And I thought he was like an upcoming actor, I guess. He's probably pretty famous from The Notebook. Because you're not like a pop culture girly. No, not at all. That's fair. Now, have you ever approached a celebrity to Pete like Wentz. to? Oh, Pete Wentz. Yep. It's the I one of the only people. Well, <laughs> I was just gonna say like La uh, Lil Romeo. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, he approached us. It was the weirdest, and not in a way where he knew who we were. It was like we were in a random ass smoothie shop, Jamba like Juice. Jamba Juice. What year? Twenty. It was like the first year we moved here. Maybe. Okay. No one was in there. Like we were with a friend who was filming a brand deal with Jamba Juice, and we were just there to like help. And then he walked in, and I was like, "You're fucking lying." And of course, like I'm the only one who recognized him, and so he's like. <laughs> yo, you guys got to like follow me on Instagram, like literally begging us to follow him on Instagram. He's like, let me watch you follow me. It was like, like it was, it was, oh, kinda, it was sad. No. It so was then I was sad. like, yeah, I'm going to take a picture with this guy. But that was literally like days after I met Pete Wentz. Oh yeah, it was. Pete Wentz was like the only celebrity sober that I have ever approached. But we were on like a red carpet and I was like, this is too cool. He was literally <gasps> standing behind me and I was like, can I take a little selfie? And he was like, yeah, he was just like drinking a soda. Whoa. We were walking on a red carpet and like that was cool, but I don't think I've ever approached any other celebrity. Like interrupted a celebrity's life? That I remember. You made me interrupt. Or... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Did Tebow? We were at some of that. Oh, shit. <laughs> 
Oh, we were at a Super Bowl um, brand deal in Minnesota, mm-hmm. and we were at this like after party, and Aaron was like, Tim Tebow is over there. Of course, I don't know who the fuck that is. And she was like, can you go up to him and say, I love your morals? And take a photo. <laughs> and so I did, and there's like I a photo. I love your morals? Yeah. <laughs> And the photo is so funny because I'm so short and so he's little. so tall. I don't know. If what did he say to that? I th- uh, he was just nice. He was like, he oh, thanks like, so much. Thank you so much. Yeah, it was just like cute yeah, and funny. Was like, thanks so much. You want fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then we went to his room after. Yeah. <laughs> Things got crazy. Oh, my God. I feel like that's literally the only celebrity I've walked up to. Well, except Mitchell Musso. But I don't yeah, think I've really. really remember. It's weird being in L.A. because... You're so used to LA like maybe seeing beast. someone. Yeah. I will only like approach a celebrity if they're like pretty niche to where I know it doesn't happen to them that much and Ooh, it would make like their an indie day. Celeb. Yeah. Like there's an actor in the movie Primer. It's just like a time travel, like indie movie that I love that was actually made like in my hometown. Is he in so other ha- stuff since then? Uh, yeah, he had like a role, I think, in like Nocturnal Animals or, sh- or Sharp Objects, I think. I wish I knew the actor's name. That's such a but good show. I was at like an event and he was walking out and I go, oh my gosh, you're in Primer. Dude, I love that movie <laughs> so much. And he was just like, it made his fucking night. And he was with Aww. his girlfriend and Aww. he was just like, That's so really cute. appreciated yeah. how much I liked it. Like, those are the ones that I like will stop. But I'm, I'm trying to think if there has been like somebody else who I've been like, I'm sorry. I need to like Take get a, a photo. photo. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Joe Rogan one time. <laughs> I went to like I was he was uh, it was when I used to listen to Joe I used to listen to Joe Rogan in college all the time and he did a comedy show um in Austin but I couldn't go to the comedy show because I was like hosting a speech tournament and then right when I got out of the speech tournament the show I knew was ending but I was like I just need to see him in person yeah and I remember I ran I snuck in because I was wearing a suit they let me like into the uh the, the venue i saw the last minute of his stand-up and he goes i'm doing a meet and greet outside right outside the doors so i'll see you guys out there i turn around i'm the first person in line to, for the meet and <laughs> greet and i got to meet him and get a picture oh and everything God, that's oh cool. that's cool yeah pretty cool cute have it framed um, on your above your bed <laughs> no it's probably like on like a facebook album somewhere but those are like the only times that i've like i don't know approached. gone out of your way yeah gone out of my way to be like i need to see this person right and i think since being in la it kind of like debunks the myth of a celebrity because yeah. they really are just, just like us just like us it's yeah, like the other uh, like months ago i was waiting at the f- literal the rite aid pharmacy in the parking lot of that ralph's and um oh my god what is the actor's name the one from succession and alan ruck yes i saw him at ralph's yeah we were jesus he's buying cheez it's with his daughter (laughs) we were at rite aid and we were both just getting our prescription at the same time and i'm like (laughs) literally like (laughs) (laughs) i love you doing that but like in the other literally last week i was out to dinner and we were waiting at valet with weird al yankovic Whoa! Wow. Was, I have never seen TJ be like starstruck, and he was like, <laughs> "Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god!" And I was like, "What?" <laughs> and then it was Weird Al. He was like with his wife. They were so I don't know if they're married, but he was with a woman. She was like older, like him, so I'm assuming his wife. But they were so cute, like taking little selfies together, Aww. like just had their dinner, and we were both just like waiting for our cars to come. He's the wow. most wholesome dude. That's so nice to hear that he's like a real down to earth guy. Yeah. Have you ever met a president? <laughs> no. Never like shook a hand and made eye contact with no, the president. Like, oh, I, I would made not eye care. contact with Barack. <laughs> you made eye contact with Barack? Yeah, I have a picture of I was She in, knows Barack. In, I feel like I've maybe talked about this. I was um on Martha Martha's Vineyard and the restaurant I was eating <gasps> at, his house was literally like the next yard. So like the Secret Service and whoever, like all of a sudden there were just all these like black SUVs, and I was like, "What the hell is going on?" And then like out walks Barack, Michelle, the gals, and he's and he like looks, walking in, and he just looks over and's waving to everyone. And he looks right at you. You yeah. locked eyes. Did he look you up and down? Locked eyes. <laughs> I certainly Damn. looked him up and down. I was like, "Damn." Okay. I mean, honestly, <laughs> Z- Zaddy. Uh, one of the daughters, I like Jess and Ella, and all of them were telling me they were drinking with her at a bar like Whoa. two weeks ago. Oh and she was like obliterated. Apparently. That's iconic. Hell yeah. Do they still have alone. secret service with yeah, them? No, <laughs> I, I'm sure they do. But I feel like they probably are at a point where the secret service can be like 20 feet away where it's not obvious. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, but I don't know. It's, I mean, yeah, they're living do their you lives. Ever, have you ever like seen a, a celebrity and you felt sorry for them? 
recently, Tara Reid. It was, oh. I literally didn't even oh. recognize her. Oh, okay. We were on a flight to New York, I believe. And TJ and I were both just sitting there like looking. We were in like Delta Comfort. Not that that matters, but just for context. So it's like the main cabin, Delta Comfort, and then Delta One, which is all the flatbed seats. And there just was this woman. She's wearing like... <laughs> Hello Kitty leggings, like, looked so disheveled. Like, her hair was, like, matted to her head. Oh. and Whoa. But she was literally walking the aisles, like, looking around. Like, it looked like she was, like, on drugs. Like, it was so weird. And then I, it took me, like, five minutes to be like, that was Tara Reed. Did she have a mask on? No. Really? She's just walking around, like, she, I'd be I, like, Tara Reed. I'd be like, hi. Yeah. But then, well, because <laughs> I, I was, <laughs> <laughs> my next Sit one, down. Let's thinking, chat. Well, that means that she was, like... She went up to Delta One. So I was like, oh, well, she still must be doing well. She's sitting in Delta One. But then I was like, I'm pretty sure that was Tara Reed. And then when we got off the plane, she was standing there. It looked like she was maybe waiting for somebody, um, but she looked unwell. Oh. And then we went to the Sky Club and a couple, literally this exact same setup, we were like eating really quick. And they were like, oh, my God, we saw Tara Reed. Like, she looked so terrible. And I was like, it was her. It was like, wow. I felt Dang. really bad. I wonder what's going on. I don't know. Not oh, in person, but Car- the, well, uh, wait, oh, have you seen the videos of like Cara Delevingne? Oh yeah, that's a, that, a hot topic right now. Scary. She's I mean, on some. Hard, it looks like she's on some hard stuff. She definitely oh, is. It's like, well, you saw like Margot Robbie leaving her house. Yes, mm-hmm. which I thought was a little interesting and a little too. It's a little invasive. And a little performative in a way. You think? You think? I don't know. I feel like I don't know. I feel like she's like, like I think Margot Karen, Robbie, yeah. good friend for going to a friend in need, but also it seemed I don't know how close they actually They're are. They're like best friends. Oh, they are like really, really close. Okay, then maybe. It'd maybe be like me going to check on Carly and Carly being like fucking crazy, and then me being really sad because yeah. I think that she's according to the tabloids like hate speculating on people's like mental health and like whatever they're going through when we don't really know, but like. I it's like sources close to her say that she's not only struggling with like mental health stuff, but also substance abuse issues and like refusing to get help. Well, when she was like on the Met Gala and had her cane, yeah. Yeah. how like unstable all that in the jitteriness yeah. Yeah. of her body. That's like a big red flag when you're like, I know well, we were talking about it. Erratic. I feel like one of our I don't know if it was here or one of our outfit reviews, but we were talking about how she was like. Dancing with Megan the Stallion the whole time and like wouldn't leave her alone. She's like messing like, with her dress on the yeah, red carpet. Yeah, and so it's just like it's sad. I mean, it's all sad, but just interesting. I guess what I meant like also feeling sorry for oh. somebody. I meant also <laughs> feeling Romeo. sorry for somebody that they're so famous that it looks like uh, unbearable. To unbearable. Live. Like uh, for me, I also felt that way about Leo DiCaprio. Leonardo DiCaprio? Yeah. You feel sorry for him? <laughs> well, I just realized I was at a party one time and he showed up and then I realized that, like, everybody one? in the room. No, this is actually when I was like in France oh. for like the Cannes Film Festival. Even though maybe there, there was already a lot of famous people at that party. I just realized everybody in this like whole moment right now is just like, Focus that's on him. that's Leo. That's Le- Leo's here. Leo's here. Mm-hmm. Leo's here. That it was just It was this type of energy where I could tell that he's just like, everybody is just in this moment isn't literally living for the moment. They're just living because he's. But but why would he go to a club then? Like, if correct. He, like yeah. you, you go to a club well, because he needs you want. To get his but new it's twenty-three-year-old girlfriend. <laughs> but it's like Inception, where like you, where's he gonna meet? You him? go somewhere and just, but then like, yeah, they're all looking at you. They're yeah. all looking at you. I had, but like, I did meet. I did shake his hand though um, in L.A. one time. At that he, had like a, he had a big old vape in his hand. And he was like, "Nice to meet you." Wait, why Did were you? Why did you shake his hand? Um, like, so I was introduced to him. By, oh. oh, okay. I okay. That's another thing. Is like I don't know. Yeah. I, ha- I have had some like crazy experiences with celebrity due to circumstances that of my life during that time. But I'm also like thankful for those experiences because it truly like debunks the... the myth of the celebrity. Mm-hmm. Where like, oh my god, I yeah. really don't. They are just like you. Yeah. So now I'm like pretty like cynical and I don't like geek out that much unless it's a person that I don't know I'm just Pete, very passionate Pete about Be like Pete Holmes like that was like really freaky for me meeting him but <laughs> um yeah no I've had some like wild ones with that I had one time I just went to breakfast with Jared and someone else and we were <laughs> in this... Jared Leto <laughs> no no not Jared Leto um in Tribeca like I don't know probably like seven years ago and Leo walked in with like one other dude they sat at the table next to us and they just had a regular oral breakfast. We Damn. had our breakfast. The Love only it. thing that I thought was strange was like when he was ready to order, he was like, and then the wait, the the server had to like lean in and he like whispered his order to her. Like he, I don't think he even wanted his voice to like 
yeah. be in the restaurant. Wow. He was wearing just like a tracksuit, the Kangol hat, sunglasses. Oh, weird. He and he's pretty fucking ripped too. Like in real life, he looked bigger than this I thought. Is Leo? He, well, at the time, I think he was like just filming The Departed or something. He was like oh. he was pretty like buffed out, and I was like surprised by how big he was. And that, but but he just sat down, had his breakfast, like paid, and left. So I think he does get to live somewhat of a normal life. But when you go out to like a club in LA and then you're going to be, yes, the center of attention. Yeah. But like, if you just go to some breakfast spot in the middle of Tribeca, New York city doesn't like, it's a totally different vibe and culture there of celebrities where people don't go out or like care to see them that much. It's just a very different. Yeah. I feel like a lot of the times too, people here are like tourists actively. Yes. See yeah. Yes. Celebrity. Literally on vans. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 They're literally celebrities. going out looking for celebrities. Yeah, so. I, know. Yeah. <laughs> I remember one of the weirdest, like best experiences when, uh, I met Sean Mendez. I'm not like a huge Sean Mendez fan, but he was just like talking to David or whatever, and he like invited him over. And there was like a couple of us at his house. I can't remember. Were you there or no? You went to Sean's house or Sean? Uh, came he to came David's. to David's house. Yeah, I let him uh, in. I've never met Sean Mendez. You and guys, you guys were like on the way back, and I was at David's house. And, and you let then, him in. Yeah, David was like, Sean Mendez is coming over. You got to leave. We can only have three people at the house. <laughs> oh, and I was God. like, okay, I'm leaving. Uh, he, yeah, he was. And real then nervous. as I was leaving, Sean Mendez pulls up in his like Escalade. And the gate was locked and he was like, uh, hey, is this David's house? I was like, yeah. Uh, he's like, is David here? I was like, not yet. They'll be here in five minutes. I yeah. can let you in. And so I just like let him into the house, talked to him for a few minutes and then I left. But he was super nice. Yeah, he was so comfortable to talk. I felt I literally felt like I was hanging out with a friend where like we started talking about my Harry Styles obsession. <laughs> and I was like, no, like I literally I was like, I know this sounds insane, but I feel so like I literally feel like I'm in love with him. And like I was like kind of kidding or whatever. And he was like, no, I totally get that. Like when he's people like this psycho. No, he's like he's like, I understand. Like when you see you have a celebrity online, like you see a celebrity all the time, like you really can feel that way. And I was just like, wow, he's just like us. Wow. And I was like, how well, funny is it? I'm talking to Sean Mendes. Didn't Sean Mendes also Styles. like start on Vine too? Yeah. yeah. So he that's like he's he gets that's it, right? Totally. He's not like, you know. He was in MadCon. Yeah. Did he know who you were? I don't think so. Have you ever met a celebrity and they knew who you were? All the time. Yeah, like Kourtney Kardashian was like, oh my God, it's so <laughs> nice to meet you guys. I literally just texted Patricia yesterday that... <laughs> That I was like, I'm pretty sure Courtney knows me. I texted Patricia that <laughs> because Travis what? Barker was having a um, an event uh, yesterday evening uh, for like some product launch at Nobu. Oh, probably like and Parker. Zane Todd Wellness. and Heath were invited, but Heath couldn't go. And then Zane was like, OK, well, Matt will just take Heath's spot. And Zane messaged like their team or whatever and was like, we just want to sub out Matt King with Heath Hussar or sub Heath Hussar with Matt King. And they were like, Matt King um, has been declined by the team or whatever. <gasps> and then I was like texting Patricia. I'm like, I'm like so bummed. I got declined by their team. I guess they like looked me through. And I was like, and I'm pissed because I'm pretty sure Courtney knows me. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, well, I'm sure she's not looking declined? at it. Huh? I they don't declined? Understand. They declined? They declined me, which is just... Well, like, uh, what's the difference? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they know the Kylie was... Jenner story and they're like, that guy. Do you think so? Absolutely not. No. Oh, no. And I'm like getting paranoid. Removed. That's... Travis, do better. But I'll actually, I think I'm exaggerating where I don't think really Kourtney Kardashian knows me. It might Maybe. also, I've like been in like rooms with her and I've talked to her, but I don't think she were. It also might me. just be like that event had a capacity limit and like it wasn't that Matt King was rejected. It's like there's no substitutions because we already have a wait list of people yeah. who have already been mm -hmm. in the room. Well, that was just funny. You, you, it's funny you just said that. And I was like, well, I we, actually just complained about that yesterday. Well, we did eat dinner at Courtney's house, like an intimate dinner. And Shut she, up. And she probably yep. wouldn't remember who we were. Yeah, it was so, like don't. me, Carly, our friend David, Addison Ray, because we were surprising Mason with Addison. Oh. And she just like wanted to hang out. She literally, we were like, okay, we're going to go. She was like, no, you have to come over for dinner. Like, I'll have my chef make you guys dinner. Like, it was literally... Us four. I'll take it all back. And then I thought you were just like, <laughs> oh, this is true. And then true. the kids. And then she literally was like, Do you guys want like a tour of the house? Like it was just so normal. Did and you like, guys vlog it? Like, yeah. You want no. a tour? You want a tour of the house? Yeah, she yeah. was like, come look at my bed. <laughs> and that was like David's inspo for his like huge bed because she mm -hmm. had a 10 by 10. Enormous bed. bed. Like her house is beautiful, stunning. She was so normal. But she just kept being like, Oh yeah, my sister, but like not saying which like, one. Which and one? She, and she would like talk about drama that had been on the show. And I'm like, oh yeah, like I already know. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah we like sat down her chef made us food was the food like, good so yeah. good yeah. yeah um her rain untied my sneakers under the table Who and did? her son rain oh. she's a son named rain yep like okay. r-e-i 
cool. GN. Rain. Um, Penelope was there. We did our peak in our pit, which like literally, I forget which kid suggested. <laughs> like you're but high like, and you're low? Yes. Like you're rose and you're But they do that on their show. And like TJ and I do that because of the show. Like we started doing it with our families and like we would do it every night before bed. And so when they were like, let's do our peak in our pit, I literally was like, this is it for me. Like I'm living my dream. Like this is cool. I'm doing my peak in my pit with Kourtney Kardashian, but she wow. was so nice. She's so nice. So nice. Yeah. Oh, is that, the, is that the one you do the impression of? Yeah. Wow. That Did you like do the, the impression in front of her? No, that's too embarrassing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> thank you. You're like saying it to the chef, like, thank you so thank much. Thank you so much. It was so great. <laughs> but it was really crazy. Wow. Like, wow. I've never heard you do it in real life. I only hear it like through the, <laughs> through the phone. That's yeah. really good. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, that um, was that was like probably the bit one of the biggest celebrities yeah. of like pop culture. Oh my god, yeah. yeah, that I've ever met and then also hung out with for yeah. an extended period of time. We like jumped on the trampoline outside. We yeah, hung out outside. Crazy. It was just like holy fucking shit. We're at Courtney Kardashian's house. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty. It's cool. just wild sometimes when you think about when you were like a kid. And just like looking Total, at the 100%. whole world, yes, and like, well, how would I ever meet this person? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you're like actually in this weird moment with the celebrity. Then you're like, where am I? No, I'd be stocking from? shelves at Target. And I'd be like, what if like Eminem just walked yeah. in? Like, yeah. need a deodorant. Yeah. And I was like, that's one thing I wanted to talk about too. Like celebrities that you never ever ever see paparazzi or anything. I'm just like Eminem is one of them. I feel like you never. I I, hear I, of I him. think, and I've read this like and seen it in videos, whatever. I do believe that. If you are a celebrity and you get paparazzi, you want okay. to be paparazzi. You want to be paparazzi. Like there, if you do not want to be like in pop culture and paparazzi's, that is your choice. You can easily yeah. avoid that. Well, um, I don't know. Like when we went to when we went to Justin Bieber's house. <laughs> oh yeah, we oh. did that too. <laughs> Wait, we all were Bieber. you went to Justin Bieber's house. Yeah, well, we didn't go outside. inside. But like when were we were you invited when we or? Were, yeah, when we were picking yep. up Justin Glenn. Bieber, their street was literally full of paparazzi yeah. and like you could tell he was so uncomfortable like did not want it to be happening and i felt like genuinely bad because uh, i think for a lot of people like it fucks up their life and, i like, think in that level health. yeah th i think yeah. there is a certain level where it is like on it's impossible like if you're a beyonce or a kardashian yeah. or a bieber but yeah. like anyone besides like let's say the top 15 most famous people they are all like setting like up their Emily paparazzi like or whatever yeah. like i always see her being papped but like it she's like walking to her car paparazzi i know that sounds like pap smear <laughs> <laughs> no pap that's a word i just pap. i saw this video that was like explaining also how you can tell if celebrities have paid for their paparazzi because like you you can notice that they're like always out on a run or like they'll have their bags and like sometimes there's even like brand deals where mm -hmm. they'll be holding clothing from a like a clothing right. store and they get paparazzi and that's I, their way of like promoting the store i just saw one like that um that they are just assuming that it's paid but ugg just released a new ugg that's like platform yeah. and like you've seen it on like every celebrity during fashion week like the hadiths have been wearing it like every single female like runway model and then yesterday um paparazzi pictures came out of bella hadid and it literally looks like a fashion shoot like she's literally walking down the street in like tidy whities but then is like sitting down like posing yeah that's shoes, what like, they perfect. do yeah. oh my god yeah. Yeah. yeah like it looks so staged but like the justin bieber's of the world and beyonce's yeah that that seems like a prison like you're just groundhog yeah. day they're following our car too yeah I know, like, it was like crazy mm -hmm. yeah so they just like stake it out but also he could just like move to wisconsin and just like you okay, know but yeah. Not that he should have to, but everyone has yeah. to make sacrifices in their life. Like, no one just gets to live on easy mode. So, like, there's pros and cons of being the number one person in the world. Like, yeah. Yeah. if you yeah. don't want paparazzi. But it also wasn't a gated community or anything. Yeah. So they've moved since. They've moved, yeah. But I was, like, shocked that it was just literally a, a regular street. street. Like, where Kardashians live, that's, like, you that's, have to yeah. Yeah. present, there like, was, like, your fucking There are yeah. two gates to get to Courtney's. And, and no you have cell to... phone service. Yeah, no service. <laughs> we got lost. We got lost in our dingy car. <laughs> in the in that whole neighborhood? Yeah. That neighborhood is crazy. It was yeah. wild. Um, One time I made, this is a very short story, but I was crossing the street in New York, and I made eye contact with Colin Farrell, and he, like, looked at me, and I was just like, oh, my God. Am I? Like, am I in love with this man? He was the most handsome dude I've ever oh seen God. in my life. Oh, wow. Just Ooh. Those, ba those baby blues just, like, pierced yeah. through my soul, and I, like, was sweating. Colin Farrell has blue eyes. I, I remember them being blue. I feel like they're, like, green. 
Like a little like, hazel. That's like brown. Let's... I don't know. I remember just maybe they weren't blue, but I remember his. I just remember his eyes looked like like sunshine was shooting out of them, <laughs> and I've wow. never felt you that way. Love. Yeah, it was just like. Oh. Um, but in L. A. It's yeah. Yeah, they are full brown. They're like hazel. Okay, maybe I just Did, was it even Colin Farrell? Maybe it was someone else. <laughs> Maybe it was someone else. I'm sorry I challenged you. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, it, I <laughs> love living in LA. Like, I love celeb sightings and then just, like, carrying on my day. Yeah. Like, one yeah. day we were out to lunch and, like, Ashley Simpson and Evan <gasps> Ross walked yes. in. And I was like, hell yeah. Like, that was so sick to see her in real life. And then just, like, you move on. Yeah. Like, Ashley Grace, Simpson? Yeah. We, it was the day we were going to, like, pick out my bridesmaids' dresses. We were having lunch at Granville. That's the spot. It is, it a spot. is the it's spot. It's a hot spot. And, like, Ashley walked in and I literally was like, Carly. Carly. I know. I was Carly. like, because <gasps> there's some people that like when you're younger, seeing them now that like you loved then is so cool. Oh, yeah. yeah. But like, I will say <laughs> when we did that with the Backstreet Boys, that was very weird and uncomfortable. And like, oh, I that was like a forced me and greet experience. Yeah. yeah that you was You had weird. a forced me and greet at the Backstreet Boys? Kind of. Yeah. We were, I think that was the same thing, right? The Super Bowl? No. Was that something else? Yeah. That was when we were in Miami. <laughs> oh, yes. I get them confused. I forget what happened, but like, Someone who's in charge was like, do you guys want to meet the Backstreet Boys? And we were like, sure. Because we wanted we, to like film with them. Yeah, we were told. Like, oh, yeah, just come down. We'll we were go told do it was it. like you can make vines or vlogs or whatever it was at the time. And then it was literally a mine. fucking step and repeat. It was literally oh, like we God. were first in line to meet the Backstreet Boys oh, at their no. meeting. And we were like, this is so crazy. Because like, like we so did not want to do you have a picture of you guys with the Backstreet Boys? Yeah. Just like <laughs> fake smiles. <laughs> yeah. I love that the energy y'all are having is like, yeah. Like your six year old self would be like, are you kidding me? Now you guys are like, yeah. I know, but it was just like the circumstance. It was, it was so just cringy. awkward. And like, I think they hated Jason for some reason. So Definitely. it was just like, because I think was... he was trying to crack jokes and they like weren't in that mood. Yeah. They were like, w step and repeat, sir. Yeah. Keep moving. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so that was. That's how that I met Lord was like a step in like oh repeat situation, but like still pretty intimate. Not a huge line, uh -huh. but it was like a sincere moment. Oh, yeah. That She's was like, I really love your T-shirt. Oh. This is like a nice. <laughs> I love this moment we're having. I'm like, oh, no. I'm you're like, like, are you in love with me? Yeah. I don't know how I, I, people like stay on like that. Like celebrities I when know. they're doing like meet and greets. Like we've done them and I'm like, oh my God. Like I couldn't imagine being like a tailor or a lord. Yeah. I always feel like the weirdest version of myself when like I am like Same. meeting somebody. Cause like you're, you're on. you want the moment to be great for this person. So mm -hmm. then you're like, then you're like on, mm -hmm. but then you're like, what am I doing right now yeah. with myself where yeah. I'm not being totally like real, but at the same time, I don't know. It's I this, know exactly. And what especially mean. if like, you're doing it like in a row, in a row, it's a very strange experience yeah. where you feel like a robot really version of yourself. Yes. You're like, hi, oh my God, nice t-shirt. Where are you from? Yeah. Oh, very cool. Is this mom? Hey mom. Like it's, uh -huh. uh, hey, mom. but it is, but then you're like, you're very humbled by it and like grateful for it, mm -hmm. but it's a weird feeling yeah. when you go through it. There was, you, oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, just to the Lord thing. There was one time I was at a restaurant and Lord walked into the restaurant and this is when I was wearing like my thicker glasses and had like the curly hair. And I think she she like kept looking at me, and I think it's because she thought I was Jack Antonoff. Because <laughs> I've met like three or four like professional musicians who all have told me like you remind me of my friend Jack Antonoff, and like I thought it was him, and I was like I am a Jew from New Jersey, and like one time I like even like a couple months ago I was picking up something from CVS, and like I had my mask on, but I had like the uh, the glass glasses. like the thicker glasses and the curlier hair, and the guy was like, hey, I'm so sorry, but like. I'm such a fan. And I was like, oh my God, is like Hoot and a Half? Or he was like, he was like, what? You want to just go with it. He was like, yeah. what? Do you want a picture? And he was like, are you, ja are you not Jack Antonoff? And I was like, oh no, 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 I'm not. He's like, are you sure? And I'm like, yes, I'm sure I'm not Jack Antonoff. He's like, ah, I'm so sorry. And I was oh like, oh, that's all right. But yeah, I met like other musicians who are like, you look just like Jack. Like I've worked with him and I'm like, I'm has, not a, him. has anybody ever come up to you and thought you were somebody else? Yeah, Carly. People are like, hi, Carly. It's so nice to see you. Oh, no. <laughs> like, well, that's just because they get our names mixed. But it's like, uh, I do that. Don't come up to me if you don't know my name. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was at a Paramore concert. My hair was oh, like my her God. color. Yeah. And they thought you were Aaron? No. no, they thought you were uh, Haley no, Williams. No, they thought I was Haley Williams oh, from Paramore. Oh my god. But it's like, why the fuck would Haley be like at the concessions? Yeah. <laughs> like, Did you see that Lady Gaga? Uh, yes. Yeah, someone was like a drag person. queen with like a <laughs> yeah. dress just like her. She was, was like, like, I'm a drag queen. And the security, the security guard is like, what? Who is that? Yeah, the that security guard. Someone thought funny. I was George Ezra. <laughs> I don't even know who My that house is. in Budapest. <laughs> my golden grand oh, piano. Uh, my beautiful Castillo. You, I don't really look like him, but it was South by Southwest. And I think yeah. 
some I was getting recognized, and then someone saw me and goes, "That's George Ezra." Oh my god! And then came up and was like, "You're George Ezra," and I go, "I, I mean, am <laughs> not. <laughs> ah, I look kind of like him." Yeah. Sort of. Do you have any like doppelgangers? I feel like I don't like. Not really. Um, like, no. The so, uh, welcome to Chili's guy from Vine. Oh, R.I.P. <laughs> yeah. What are they up to? You got a bra- you got a couple brand deal emails one time who thought like Matt got an emails. <laughs> And they were like, oh, well, oh, no, go on. I have like a story about that. They they were like, hey, we loved your welcome to Chili's Vine. We'd love to uh, work with you. And we're oh, just like, that's yeah. not Matt King. Oh, my God, you should literally just go with it. Like, well, how embarrassing happened, for that company. When I was in Michigan, when we were in Michigan oh, for yeah. Ann Arbor um, for like this Wendy's brand deal, I was at a bar um, and there was a professional football player came up and he goes, dude, I love your vines so much, man. Can I, uh, can I please buy you a drink? And I'm like, yeah, absolutely. I'm like, so where are you from? Where do you do? He's like, I actually play for the, uh, the dolphins. I'm like, uh, he was like, oh, like a defensive lineman or something. He goes, but I went to Michigan and I'm just, uh, uh, I don't know, here getting you a drink. And I'm like, dude, thank you so much. He goes, yeah, I mean, you, your vines were always so funny, whatever. I'm like playing sports. Like I love the welcome to Chili's thing right as I'm getting my <laughs> beer. And he goes, I love welcome to Chili's. And I go, oh my God. <laughs> But, and I go, dude, thank you so much, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got to Thank you for the beer. Yeah, I got to go. And I'm like, shit, he thought I was somebody completely different. Um, but, but yeah, you and probably also, made his day. Yeah, yeah, I, pro- I probably did. So but then I don't, fine. I don't know if we took a picture. I don't think so. I just remember getting that free beer and being like, <laughs> thank you. Thank Oops, you. Whatever. Thanks for yeah. the beer. Oh, it's on him, really. Do you ever want to touch these knobs on this? <laughs> like twist them? I keep, I keep like no. always looking at them and just I knowing twist that. Them. Yeah. I want to hear the clicks. Click, 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 click. Oh, that person accepted my offer. One hundred dollars. Oh, nice for a VCR. <laughs> I'm buying for like a, a small thirteen inch VCR TV. Ooh, oh my god, cute. just to have as like just a little... as like a little like piece of furniture. Yeah, it's like pop VHS in, it. but like turn the volume down low, and it's just that's like that's really always... cute. That's very you. Yeah. yeah, I like that. Yeah, they agreed to. That'll it. be fun. You yeah. have to pick it up. Yeah, but in like Piru, uh, California. Where's that? Where's that? It's like further than Santa Clarita. It's like oh, it's like a forty minute drive at like night. Should we go to Santa Clarita and visit the filming locations of Santa? Lu- Clarita diet. Is, did they film it a lot in Santa Clarita? I have no idea. We can go to Magic Mountain, Six Flags. I want to do that. No, I, I want to go to Hurricane Harbor. You with your appendix out? You can't. Do- <laughs> Stop bleeding. Oh, no. Have you ever been with someone who's meeting a celebrity that they really care about and you're just like, cool, I hope you're having a great time? I feel like there's been situations with David where like I've been like, I don't care about this person, but I can't remember exactly who it was. Like where David is freaking out about yeah. someone? Yeah. I can't recall. Oh. I don't recall. I don't recall. I guess Todd sometimes there have been instances where there's been like a sports player, like a Lakers oh. player or something. And I've been like, I don't don't care. Don't care. <laughs> don't care. Well, who, mm. Who's like the coolest person of celeb that you've met? Josh Peck. Oh, that's a good one. That's cute. coolest. Josh Probably Peck is the like, coolest. Bruce Springsteen. You oh, met Bruce yeah. Springsteen? I went to Italy with Bruce Springsteen. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Oh, Matt, like, oh I've, done, I've done a crossword with Bruce Springsteen. That was one Weren't of the you, most... Weren't you like on his yacht or something? No, he was on <laughs> another yacht. yacht. He, not my, <laughs> no, not my <laughs> yacht. yacht. It was a crazy circumstance with like him. Yeah. Um, shaking, I shook the. I shook Paul McCartney's hand one time. Wait, Lauren Tom Michaels, Hanks? Paul McCartney. I met Tom yeah. Hanks. You yeah. have a good list of celebs. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, like cool celebs that i feel like a lot of people wouldn't really like be like oh that's like, so cool like gen z wouldn't be like cool but it like, is fucking sick gwyneth paltrow like chris martin oh my god um, jesus christ puke. and uh uh oh gosh there's even like more a uh, steve martin martin <gasps> short um, oh my god like just so sick yeah. i feel like that's cool for you too because you really Lucas. appreciate like the, the art. cinema and the yeah. art of it all I and they're all so. like icons it was just but it wasn't that it was never like my intention yeah, yeah, yeah. with yeah. that it was just crazy circumstances 100%. where you were around those people yeah all of them were like incredibly great i don't remember anyone who was like i think the nicest was probably gwyneth paltrow oh my god i would love to meet her yeah gwenny I, I think also just like having seen david like do meet and greets where like when he when he came to new york that one time and it was like he um, was the fucking beatles and like people are just crying meeting him and i'm just like okay <laughs> like you, but you just see that like the th- the people that like you idolize when you're a kid and that you think are great they are just people that like live in a house order food like they're all yeah. just kind of doing their thing yeah um i feel like that's why living here it's a lot 
you can just see it a lot more clear. Yeah. yeah. Like if yeah. a celebrity goes to Omaha, Nebraska, it's like the news talks about it. Yeah. It's like, like Lady what, Gaga was at the radio station. Adam years. Sandler filming a movie was like l- yes. a rumor around the town pool. Yeah. I mean, like, like even in Massachusetts, like so many of those movies were filmed there. And yeah. like whenever they would be like, oh, the town, the departed, like all of these things. Like that's so crazy. Mystic yeah. River. It's just where Mystic it, River. Yeah. Well, Weren't you in that movie? <laughs> no, I was in Big Fish. Oh, that's what it was. <gasps> oh. You were in Big Fish? Yeah, you know the town scene in Big Fish? I don't remember. I know, there's, I don't like a little, there's like a little, like, the town scene with, like, they're all barefoot. There's a kid. <laughs> he makes this up every time. <laughs> oh, okay. It's not real. Oh, it's just God. a stupid okay, bit. You know who's in Big Fish, though? Miley Cyrus. Oh. In, like, the first couple rewatch. minutes. I've never met a celebrity and they were just awful to you. The worst. We had like a weird run in with Jennifer Lopez. Ooh. Yeah, we've talked about it a couple I times. I, but... I, I always hear a Jennifer Lopez like bad story. I just feel if like, I feel like she's probably really nice, but I feel like she has to like, you know, need something from you also. Like, I think she's one of those people that's probably like, we got a transaction. Well, she's Jenny yeah. from the block. No. She's got to cut like a an deal. Icon queen, like working so hard, like she's got shit to do. But the experience we had with her was just a little like, mm. <laughs> and like really scarred us. We were working the Super Bowl and it was the Super Bowl year she was performing. Right. Her, no, she was performing was like at a pre-show. The pre-show. Which was amazing, by the way. Yeah. And um, like Super Saturday night. You know how they do that? She was performing at that. For the big game. For the, for big, the big game. We're not allowed game. to say Super Bowl for brand deals. You have to say oh, the, big the big game. game. Yeah. And I forget who the other person was performing with her. Like Neo or something? Oh, yeah. Something like that. And... um. So we had been waiting at a station because we had to film content for the sponsorship that we were doing. And we were filming it with her. Like it was a thing set up by the brand. Like we were all doing it at different stations to have like a cohesive branded moment. And we had been sitting in our spot for like 40 minutes at least. And then she like comes walking up the stairs with like a whole team. A-Rod was there. Like her kids were there. And they had like the cameras with like lights. And it was like a whole production. And like as we're about to be like, Oh, hi. She sees Neo doing sound check and loses her fucking mind. Wait, really? It was. Yeah. We were like, oh, God. Like, we didn't even say how. Like, Wait, like she sees Neo. Yeah. She was like, why, why is he doing sound check we were without like, me? Where we were was like the upstairs of like a arena mm-hmm. vibe. Oh. And there was a stage below. But like no one was there before and, and then he, he was sound, sound checking check. and she freaked out that he was doing it without her it, yeah it i was guess like so. so weird it was like one of those things where she you couldn't really tell if it was like he's doing it before me or like he didn't follow my direction or something like that but she just lost it and she was like i'm done we're done and then just walked away no yeah so you didn't yeah. even get the meter no we didn't even get the content that we needed to post. well i think i remember karen reached out and she was like you guys can meet her after if you want oh, and i we think like, she like feels no, bad i was no, like no. it's okay i don't like i'm not like a that huge j-lo awkward. fan yeah yeah like we weren't meeting her to just do like a meet and greet like we were working yeah. So that's- yeah yeah but i also i will say if like there's a big event like you're playing the night before the super bowl yeah. and like you're supposed to be sound checking or like one of the, the most watched there's like a, totally. and there's like a technique as you're doing it with someone else so it's like a duet well, and then you're being told meet these two youtube kids for a potato totally. chip deal or whatever like hey <laughs> i i can't do this right now sorry like i need to just leave and well he was just coming out at one point during the performance like it wasn't like they were so doing a show the whole t- together yeah <laughs> I, I just I, I it's not great to like blow up but i could yeah. also see like she's that could be like a really Probably stressful stressed, situation. Yeah. I didn't like um, hold like, it against her. Like, a, yeah. Did she like break a window with a <laughs> yeah. baseball bat after? No, and like A Rod even was like, sorry. <laughs> um, yeah. When I was like oh. ten years old, we were in Las Vegas for like a family trip. And <laughs> to Vegas. I know. Well, Vegas is like pretty family friendly yeah. at some points, but we were there, and Shaquille O'Neal came out of an elevator. Oh my god! And I was like, oh my god, Shaquille O'Neal, can I have a picture? And he was like, not now, man. And I was like, oh okay. god. <laughs> and then he just me. walked away. And then, like, Aww. now, like, 15 years later, my brother Sam was working at Mashable, and they, like, had Shaquille O'Neal at the Mashable office, and he's, like, buddy-buddy with Sam and was, like, rubbing his nips and, like, touching his hair, and, like, they shot a video together, and, like, <laughs> Sam got to spend this whole day with Shaquille O'Neal, and, like, he, hell? like, picked him up, and I was just, like, damn it. Shit. I know. Now, so, like, uh, maybe he just hates kids, and honestly, <laughs> I respect him for that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we, how about you say your Lady Gaga story and see okay. if they think that this really happened? Okay. Uh, well, I also did. I ever did I tell the story here about the Justin Timberlake concert with like Olivia Wilde? Yes. You, I told that on this podcast. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I, don't I don't remember, remember like publishing that one. Maybe that was one you edited it. I mean, I wouldn't have taken it out. Or you've said it 
I don't remember. My, no, it was here. On, I re- no, I remember. Like I said, Olivia Wilde said I was cute and yes. had like no oh, trouble. Yeah. Yes, yes. Well, so at that same event, just I wanted to talk about this before the Lady Gaga thing. Maya, uh, at the event that I was at the Justin Timberlake concert with Olivia Wilde and uh, Justin Timberlake's wife, Jess- Jessica Beale. Jennifer yes. Beale. Je- yeah. Um, Uma Thurman was also there, like in that group of people with like Andy Samberg and everyone. But I'm pretty sure Uma Thurman was like drinking and like she was just like dancing and screaming and like having she was having a good time. And I was drinking and everyone was whatever. But like it looked like there was a girl there who was her daughter. And the whole time this girl was just like, (sighs) mom, please just sit down and watch the like she was just like upset that her mom was like, woo, like she was trying to like pick her daughter up and like dance with her. And the daughter was this. This I think it was like t- probably like 2013 or 2014. Oh, oh my god, yeah, they had to have been, been like, like real young. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was like it, the girl was probably like 14 or 15, and I was like I don't know 22, 23, whatever. Okay, yeah. And the, I just felt so bad yeah, for this it was girl. Maya. I, I, that's what I'm thinking. I think it might have been Maya Hawk. And and like afterwards, the girl was just like sitting there by herself. I was like, hey, everyone's mom embarrasses them. Like, don't feel bad. <laughs> You're like, just. It, talking to this whole group of it's people. It's total. I mean, they were, they, it was like who I was with. Like it was, yeah. I was, because I had snuck into the VIP yeah. and like I just convinced the security Everyone's guard that mom. I was supposed to be there. And it was, yeah, so just me, Andy Sandberg. His wife who hates you. Yeah, uh, the heart player. Uh, uh, Joanna Newsom. Joanna Newsom, who hates me, yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway, that and so, okay, the Lady Gaga story. We're at South by Southwest and uh year? What year? Uh it was the year that Lady Gaga did her like vomiting on the dress event where she like remember like she th- she like ate stuff and then threw it up on a dress made of meat. I don't know. If you're a Lady Gaga fan, this was like a big event. Was it like the meat dress at the VMAs? No, she like vomited on herself in the middle of a show, like on purpose. Okay. okay. Uh, like five years ago, ten years ago? <sighs> Probably closer to ten years okay. ago. Okay. Um, I think it was like 2013 or 2014. But anyway. At South by Southwest, we always have this thing. It's like a game we play called VIP Everywhere. We just try to get VIP at every event. And we are nobody at this point. Like, there's no reason for us to be there, whatever. So there was this guy, Reggie Watts. Do you know Reggie yeah. Watts? He was putting on a show, and we just really wanted to see the Reggie Watts show. And he was Reggie Watts was performing, and me and, like, three of my friends were in the VIP watching it, and it was great. And then Lady Gaga just comes in because she's, like, at South by checking out the event. And she walks in to the VIP section and her security guards basically kicked out all of my friends except for me. And like during the Reggie Watts event, there was, oh, well, I know why. (laughs) During the Reggie Watts event, everyone stopped watching Reggie Watts and like looked up because the VIP was like elevated in the mezzanine and everyone's just like watching Lady Gaga just stand there. And I was like looking behind, I was like, what the fuck is everyone looking at? And it was Lady Gaga and my friend like put on his phone like something like you're all sheep watch the show it's just a celebrity or something he was like put it on his phone to like everyone so they would watch the show and then the security guard took him out of vip so it's just me up there reggie watts finishes the show and so now it's just like me and lady gaga and like her like three or four of her dancers and like i think i knew one of her dancers from college or something and her security guards and I don't know how it just happened. We just start talking and I was like, hey, how's it going? She's like, oh, what's going on? And <laughs> someone was like, oh, something about New Jersey. And I was like, oh, yeah, I'm from New Jersey. Where are you from? She's like, oh, I'm from New York, but I spent a lot of time in New Jersey. And we're just having a conversation. And she's like, oh, and I'm playing a show here tomorrow. I was like, cool, cool. She's like, um, I don't know how it came up, but I was like, yeah, I don't know if I'm like super familiar with any Lady Gaga songs. She's like, really? And I was like, yeah, I don't really listen to like pop music. I listen to like really weird. Wait, did you, you know, know it was Lady Gaga? I knew it was her, oh, but okay. I, I don't I don't think I like really heard like I couldn't tell you a Lady Gaga song. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I'm sure if I heard one, I would be familiar with it. But like, <laughs> I don't know, Lady Gaga, Katy Perry. <laughs> Just dance. <laughs> I, I, I didn't know any of them, whatever. And she was like, you've never heard a Lady Gaga song? And I was like, no. And she was like, uh, how about this one? And then she like does the like thing where she's like rah rah ooh ah ah and like <laughs> ooh, and then ah, ah. yeah like whatever and like puts her thing on the thing and I was like please stop like I this is really like insane and she's like she's like no 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 you know this song and was like singing me like her song and she had her background dancers oh, yeah, and, right and her and her dancers were like doing the dances with her and I was like police like <laughs> I was time like, out <laughs> this part never happened <laughs> this is where I'm like bullshit like You're I believe drugs. I believe you were at an event I believe Lady Gaga was there. I believe you met Lady Gaga and you got a picture. He has a picture to I 
through the video with her but too. This moment that you're Damn adding this. of her of Lady Gaga going, "You've never heard my songs. <laughs> Come on, girls." <laughs> that never happened, it did. dude. It was Lady so, Gaga I, would never do something okay, like that. I'll tell you I this. Think she you would. Think, like, no, she's so Matt. like camp. I think it's like funny. No, like, this to is me, also I'm like Matt. This is a thing with musicians too. I've talked to Adam about this. Like there are some musicians that like get to a level of fame where they just think that everyone that they meet wants to hear them perform, wants to hear them sing. And that there are like sessions where like, if you go to, I'm not going to name names about who these people are, but like you'll go to a session with someone and they will just like, just start playing you one of their songs. Like, you know this one, right? And they'll just play you one of their songs and then they'll just keep playing until you're like, let's do something else. Like there are some musicians that just think everyone is that it's always a show and I, I'm the star. I do feel like she's more like a character. Yeah, no, like I, I think she like was like I, having fun with it. Yeah. And she, but like, and cause it, we were, it was like, everyone was clearing out of the event and like, I, she, I was like uncomfortable with that. I was like, can you please stop? And she's like, no, but you know this one too. <laughs> and, you, and can when you she, please stop? And, and like, her, <laughs> like you're, okay. <laughs> And then, I get no that, like you're, you're so. You, I know. I, I, get, I, was like, I, get, I was like, really, I get it. Like, I, I, I know this one. Like, I, I was just trying. You're to, getting like, like a free show. I would have just been nobody, like, actually, I, mean, I don't like, know this one either. No. Can you, can you do a little? Uh... <laughs> the thing is, none of this happens. <laughs> <laughs> no, how, because... how do you just not believe him though? Because it doesn't. Do you think I'm just lying? Yeah, that's. I mean, I would I expect him to like, lie. I think you've like. Imb- no, I don't think you're lying. I think you've convinced yourself that something happened when that didn't happen at all okay but i had like two of my brothers and three of my friends were there that all saw this and then afterwards i was like we were talking more and she was like oh i'm actually playing like a real show at south by tomorrow you should come i did not um (laughs) but she was like you should come like get in contact with my people like i would love for you to come to the show tomorrow like see it for real and i was like Okay, this like, is 2014 Lady Gaga. She was super famous. She's yeah. already doing the Monsters Ball tour. Yeah, no. like that's already been done. I like, don't know. If this I don't was know. Just, exa- if it might have been 20, just dance. It might have been 13. It might have been 2013. I don't know. Even I, still, like we're post college at that yeah, point. Like that's yeah, no, she was romance. super famous. Like, I had a Just Dance poster in my freshman college dorm. Room. I like, get it. Okay, we are like, then, well, now I feel like I'm being like a dick. No, no. And like, here's the other thing. I, I, I'm just. I think it's funny. One of my best friends. One of my absolute best friends was a mega Lady Gaga fan. And I was like, hey, like, I don't want to be this guy, but one of my best friends is like, you're a biggest fan. Can we just like shoot a video saying hi to him? She's like, yeah, sure. And I can, I have the video. For some reason, it doesn't have sound, but I have a video of like me and her being like, hey, Brendan, we're just saying hi. Okay, we're I do want to see that just for fun. And like, it's the drag queen. No, it was her, it was her. <laughs> From the TikTok. From the TikTok. I think I've seen the picture and it I'll is. To, I know, right? It I'll could've... find the video and I'll find the video. But I like, don't know. I think like she's just very like, you don't know a Lady Gaga song? Because like she, she's like I going could, yeah. around like calling herself okay, Lady Gaga. Okay. Like I think I that she's see. just like a character. Like she's, yeah. she, cause she's so fucking talented. Like yes. didn't she go to like Juilliard or some shit? She did. NYU. Yeah. Like she's so talented. And I think she's very much just like, it'd be like, oh, you don't know that song from this musical? Like right. I think that it's very much like a a character and she's not like taking it so like it'd be different if taylor swift started doing that i'd be like oh yeah lady <laughs> relax see like, you, you would do that do. right if taylor swift was yeah. like wait a minute you don't know and I put yeah, your but hands I, I, but or that's not like different like i think <laughs> <laughs> what is this taylor swift no i was thinking the miley cyrus song <laughs> whatever but like <laughs> what? no but to me they're like two if like a taylor or like you know like michelle branch or like someone very just like I make pop music did it, but like Gaga's like a perform, mm-hmm. like a yeah, 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 like a character in herself. Yeah, like, I I'm also not totally her. De- I'm not happening. her demographic either. So like you know, I'm just like a twenty something, you know, dude. Yeah, and I don't know her. Like I don't know the specifics. So she was like, oh, you don't know this one, and like her dancers were there, and they were like doing. It was like a three piece, like little. It. It lasted maybe show. 30 seconds, like 40 seconds. And I was just like, 40 seconds. Yeah, I, she, she was like getting, she like did a, she did a verse and then a chorus and was going to the second verse. And I was like, I That's got it. Incredible. Damn. You, got free, you should go to one of her shows. It's fucking crazy. I, yes. I, I, I believe it. Eh. I'll, I will show you the video of me and her just like, hey, how's it going? Like, I mean, I've which seen I don't the know. Picture. That, I don't know if that proves anything to you, but like. Maybe for Halloween, we're all different gagas. Okay. Neat dress. <laughs> you know what we can do? I can call, get some I called my Lady Gaga friend. The, like, the Muppet one. Yeah. <laughs> Muppet one. Remember, she's like a bunch of, uh, or Kermits. I don't remember. I don't remember that either. Uh, we'll have to look. What's up? Nothing. I just, I don't know how I'm ever going to, 
I mean, there will be a, there I guess will be a time. Is that like your worst interaction with a celeb? I think the Ryan Gosling thing is probably worse. I, I cringe at that a little bit, like okay. jumping in front of him yeah. and like oh, yeah. telling Eva Mendez, like, hey, I don't know if you know who this guy is. He's one of the best actors Jesus. in the generation. Uh, like, and I didn't know. I didn't <laughs> No, like I'm crawling in my skin. Were they dating at the time? Yeah, they are. I, I think they had a child yeah. together. By the way. <laughs> oh, my. <Yeah. laughs> I like, don't know if I could like be with you around a celeb. Yeah. Like, no, that like, was that was like so Now I know long. why you're sober. <laughs> <laughs> it was a long time ago. I was yeah. excited. I, I thought oh, he was a cool sure. actor. That I think that was probably the worst interaction. Oh and my then, God. and your best one was Adam Sandler. That I think is like one of the highlights of my life was that Adam Sandler experience. I think the Lady Gaga story is pretty. I think it's a good experience. She was like, yeah, really cool. No, and just, very like, memorable. Very. I just unique. mean in terms of like you being <laughs> distressed while it was happening. Um, <laughs> distressed is funny. Um, <laughs> lady, enough. Yeah, yeah, I literally was like, lady, please. <laughs> It was just I don't know. Can you imagine if just someone like you're in you're in like a a room and someone's just like putting on a show for for you and you're just like it would depend on who it was. Like if it was Lady Gaga, I'd be like, tell me more. <laughs> like keep performing. But yeah, if it was like yeah. someone annoying, I'd be like, okay, enough. Yeah, I'm not annoyed with it, but I was just like, yeah, I get I it. You're say, super like, famous. I feel like you probably agree. Like the coolest experience was riding a Hollywood tour bus with Wayne Brady. Oh, I was oh, yeah. so jealous. Oh, that about was that. Like, I forgot about that. And Charlie Puth. And Charlie, right? and Charlie Puth, yeah. Yeah. Um, that is... But like being around, like growing up watching Who's Live. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I was like, I'm literally watching this happen in real time. Yeah, he was like, like taking the mic and, and doing stuff And he was so with nice. It. We were like taking tequila shots with him. Like wow. that was the coolest, that was my coolest celeb encounter. <laughs> you would sometimes like there, there are ones that I wish we could even say on this episode, but we like can't. Why? Out of just like respect. Oh. Well, I'm curious. out of respect, but like Mike and I have had some crazy interactions. Oh yeah, with but but I don't even think we can. No, I wouldn't go there. No, I know, but I like kind of like teasing it Men. like that. Men. It, it, no, because it, right it's because it's yeah. like friends that we don't want to like. If we're yeah. thinking about the same thing, yeah, we are. Um, I was gonna say d meeting David Blaine also. That's oh. true. That I was like, I grew up watching his like specials on TV and like. Lo like he instilled magic as a part of my personality, yeah. which I still have. Totally. Mm -hmm. And like he came over to David's house one time. Uh, this is like right before the pandemic, and like they were shooting David Blaine's newest special. And David Blaine, like, it was kind of fucked up. He like locked all. I think you were there, right? Where he, where he, yeah, you were there. I was we there for some of it, but I don't think I was there when they were shooting anything. He handcuffed all of us together. For like an hour and then left and I was wasn't like there for that. Oh my God. I'm pretty sure I have a video of like a circle. It's like me, you, Natalie, Todd, Zane, and David are all like he came over and just locked us together with handcuffs. And then he was like, Well, I have a new technique for how I can break out of handcuffs. And then like he tried to show us on like a different pair of handcuffs. He was like, I don't actually have this trick solved yet. Uh oh shoot, but we have to go. I'll be back in an hour. And then he like, cause he had thrown the key into David's backyard and was like, don't worry about the key. I'm going to break you guys out. And he threw the key into the grass and it was like dark. And then he was like, I got to go. And uh, you just look for the key. And if you guys can't find it, just call the cops or the fire department and they'll let you out. And we were like, I started to have like a panic attack. I was like, <laughs> I am, cannot be chained to yeah, like no. Zane and Todd for That's like the next yeah. nine out. Like what the fuck? And like, we literally went outside and like are all looking in the grass in the dark <laughs> for this key that he threw out and he left. And I was just like, David, what are what are we gonna do? He's like, I don't know. And everyone else was so chill, and I was having a panic attack. Like, I don't like being handcuffed. I don't know if this is a prank. I don't right. know what's going on. <laughs> You're handcuffed often. <laughs> no, I never have been. But yeah. I'm just like, it's like the first time I've ever been like restrained, and I'm like, I don't fucking like this at all. And then like 20 minutes later, he came back, and he was like, Oh, I'm not feeling so good. And we were like, What? And he like puked up the key, and then let us out. And I was like, <laughs> Thanks for giving me a fucking oh, heart attack. God. But. Man, I don't I don't like that story. I'll cut that out. But I will say there was a time where we were at David's house and David Blaine was filming for his new special. And then there is a clip in David Blaine's new special from where I was. And like, you can see me in the new oh special. God. And I was like, oh, that's I cool. watched it live on TV and I was like crying. I was like, this is like huh. dream come dream. true. I've never I could never have imagined this. Uh. And I like texted David. I was like, thanks so much for making that happen. So that was like, that's probably one of the cooler ones. Yeah. And that's then really David cool. Blaine gave me his phone number and I was like. I don't know what I need yeah. this for. No. Oh. I texted him. It. Yeah. 
Who's like the spawning? coolest person in your phone book? Um, um, the coolest? Or like... The most famous? Yeah. I was Steven Spielberg. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know uh, if I have anyone. <laughs> Do I, Aaron? <laughs> I don't know. I think David Blaine is probably the most famous person I have in my... Mine is Tom Sandoval. Who? Oh, you're so Tom lucky. Tom Sandoval. Who's He's that? from Vanderpump Rules. It's a uh, reality show. Why do you have his phone number? We were going to do a video with him. Hmm. Oh, we no. were We were hooking up. <laughs> Aaron, Joey, Aaron Joey, really wanted to be on Joey, the show. Joey King. <laughs> oh, my God. Joe Volpus. <laughs> Just thought this was good, like a nightmare and dream blunt rotation of oh. celebs. Blunt rotation? Like nightmare. Like smoking weed? Yeah, it's like a meme where it's like my nightmare blunt rotation, and it's like people oh are God. fucking annoying. Oh gosh, like, like oh, uh, I wouldn't want to smoke weed with anybody. What? I don't. I don't smoke weed. I think okay, it's- I'd be no, like, but it's Taylor Swift. <laughs> Am I stressing you out being on this side? I don't want to smoke with anyone. It's like not a real thing. It'd just be like, who would you want to hang out with in a room? Oh, and smoke weed. <laughs> yeah, like you're smoking weed. I would say like Matt's gonna say like the most. I would say Adam Sandler, Chris Rock. And like the, ca- the cast of grown up. Yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah. I just want to hang out with funny people. Yeah, I have like I'm like Sutton from Real Housewives. <laughs> I I have um Ezra, Andy Cohen, probably Ezra, Koenig. Ezra, Koenig. Ezra Koenig, Pete Holmes, and like Maddie Healy. Oh, Maddie Ooh, Healy's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, I guess I have a question. Who is the number one celebrity you like want to meet and become friends with? Like, who's your like? Oh my god, Taylor Swift. I mean, Taylor, obviously. Number one. I want to be yeah. friend. Yeah. Of course. You want to be friends with Taylor. Yes. Like, I think you want would... to get dinner with her. You want yes. you would you want to break the illusion. Yes. In the same Do way that, that like that would like ruin it. What if she was like a little mean? Or just like boring. Oh. What if her she's art like... is her art her music is too good. Like so I don't weird. care. I was just thinking about that this morning about like would Taylor Swift like would she like like me? As I know. like friends. I, I think, think she'd she like would. me. But you you're not concerned about breaking the like illusion that you can't no. listen to her music because I, no. Okay. I'm not worried about it. Wow. Yeah. Maybe like a Harry Styles, I'd be nervous because it's like, I don't know. I don't like really listen to his music a lot, though. But his persona, obviously, I'm like obsessed with. I feel like if he was. Have you seen the Harry Styles is bald theory? Yeah. Yeah. You don't believe it? No. Okay. I think like who cares? It's been like debunked. Oh, Oh, I think think that's kind of a fun one. Like it's kind of harmless. It's funny if it's true. Yeah. It also would make it really cool that like he can just easily turn into Lex Luthor and walk around and no one would know. <laughs> Hannah Montana. People yeah. would know. <laughs> People would know if Harry Styles walked around bald. You think he's yeah, that, his yeah, like yeah. Yes. eyebrows <laughs> eyebrows down? Is that recognizable? He's a pretty striking yeah, 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 yeah. face. He's okay. not like you don't see his hair. If like you saw this, I feel like you wouldn't know it was Harry Styles. Like All it right. doesn't matter. That's fair. Mm-hmm. Matt, who's yours? Steve Buscemi? Steve. <laughs> 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 um. No, I think like. I don't know. I guess Ezra Koenig. Like yeah. knowing someone in Vampire Weekend, that would just be awesome to yeah. have. Um, but everyone else, like I don't know. There's really not that many like people that like yeah. Like I've kind of met. I don't know how to describe. Like, meeting Bradley Whitford. Do you know oh Bradley Whitford? Is? Yeah, we talked yeah. about. Oh this. yeah, yeah. Oh, we've talked about it on the podcast. Yeah. How uh-huh. I met him. Yeah. Um, that one was just like wow, Crazy. one of my favorites, and it just came to me. Mm-hmm. So. I don't know. Jimmy Buffett? <laughs> For like just shits and giggles. You like, just want to be able to go to dinner yeah. with him? Yeah, Jimmy Buffett! Like, I don't know. That That's just kind of like fun, the fun one. But other than that, I don't know. I'm pretty content. I, I don't think I have one. I feel like I've met a lot of people. Like, get, I mean, it's funny, but like Gary Vanderchuk used to be like my idol. Have you idol. met Larry David? No. Uh, I shook his hand once. He did a performance in New York. He was He did a play. And I saw the very first night of opening of previews. And he did like a little meet and greet after and we just like shook hands. He's like, you're not sick, are you? Because I got to go on tomorrow night. And I was like, <laughs> I'm not sick, bro. You can shake my hand. And he was like, all right. And that was gotta it. Go on tomorrow, but I, I don't know that I could like want. I don't know if I'd want to be friends with him. He seems like kind of a difficult guy to like be around. I don't know if I'd be like, hey, you want to get dinner? You know, but yeah. yeah, I used to be a really big fan of Gary Vaynerchuk and I was like 19, 20. <laughs> and then I finally met him and he was the nicest guy. And like, you know, you got plenty of time. <laughs> Uh-huh. So that was cool. How old are you? Um. Yeah. All right. I think that's it. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that episode of Celebrities of Good Influences. Please leave a review. We love reading all the reviews. Like, comment, subscribe, share it with your people, and um, go follow us on any and all of our channels wherever we are on the internet as well. All right. We'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs>